Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning back into my channel. It's your girl Cassidy Simmer, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add more foods into your Sims 4, how to add more custom foods, more interesting foods, because honestly, we are tired of cooking the same old French toast, spaghetti, like pancakes. We're tired of it, okay? We want more realistic foods. I mean, the foods are realistic, but we want more options. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get over a hundred more foods into your games yes it's exciting i know i can't wait brilliant incredible amazing show stopping so first i'm going to be showing you guys the two mods that i use to add more foods into my game and then i'm going to show you guys how to install it because i know it was confusing for me at first to install it so now i have a super easy fail proof way for you guys to install it into your games so you guys can see how to get more foods into your sims 4 so if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back, Cassie the Crew. I love you guys, and we're going to jump right in. All right, so we are in the Sands household today. Knox Sands yeah, is the <laughs> mayor uh, of the household. Maybe. There's no lights Lush outside, so you can't really see him. But um, And then Sienna Sands is Ooh, the goodness, head chef. Well, she's, she's a master chef, pretty much. She's like the top of her career as a chef. She's a celebrity chef. There we go. She's a celebrity chef. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is called Granny's Old Cookbook. This is a really nice mod. I love how they put it together. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your search box and then you're going to search Granny's and then it should pop up right here. And then I'm going to put it right next to this popcorn maker here. You can pretty much place it anywhere. I like to just place it on stuff that I have like clutter on or something. And I like it because you can change the front of the cookbook with any cover that you want. I really like this orange one, it really stands out, but I think it blends too much into that plate. Okay, so we'll go with, I like this one, it looks very like traditional. Um, you can name it anything you want also, so when you press back into live mode, you can actually click on the book and then you can name it whatever you want name cookbook so you can name it like martha stewart cookbook or you can name it after like one of their actual grandmothers you can be like nana or grandma rose cookbook or grandma cynthia yeah cookbook um, and then you can just put your own little description and make it super cute. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and use Sienna. I don't know why she went to sleep. Come on, Sienna, I need you to cook. So basically, while she's on her way down, I'm going to show you guys a couple of these recipes. So Granny's recipes, barbecue. Um, so there's two barbecue options, the barbecue ribs and beans, shrimp and mackerel skewers. skewers. Um, there's some meals. So grilled cheese with tomato soup, collard greens and cornbread, meatloaf, chicken and waffles. I'm going to have her make chicken and waffles for right now, um, just so you guys can see. So basically, you click on the cookbook to actually choose what you want to make. You wouldn't click on like the fridge or the stove for this particular mod, but it works the same way. She's going to go to the fridge, get her ingredients, and then cook it however she needs to cook it. But to actually get the recipes, make sure you click on the cookbook. I'm gonna put her back in her outerwear just to make it look more professional. Um, so every day happen. So yeah, um, let's see what else here. So meals, chicken roti, beef patty with cocoa bread, beef patties, pears, beans, and bacon, chicken alfredo, raclette, wonton soup, three cheese pizza, corned beef hash, buffalo chicken pizza, lasagna al pesto, chicken dumpling, pot roast, sushi tray, traditional pie and mash, mussels, like there's so many recipes in here. Let's see what else. So there's breakfast also, honey banana toast, breakfast cereal, lox bagel, very Belgian waffles, and they all look exactly like the picture. So that's great too. You get the full feel of how it looks whole, and then when it cuts into different plates, it looks different. So you get really the full meal. Oh, look at this. Okay, so let's see how her chicken and waffles came out. Look at that. I love it. So now they can call. Oh, wait called to eat so crystal didn't crystal go out is she here well if she's here whatever she can eat too but yeah so now they can all take a plate of the chicken and waffles and then what else do we have here desserts 
This is all desserts here. Trifle, Mud Pie, Chocolate Ness, Espumilia. There's so, I don't have all of them because some stuff I really didn't know what it was. But I love how they incorporate different cultures into their recipes and different thing like, things like that. So they had Indian recipes. They had, you know, Jamaican recipes. They had all these different types of recipes that I had no idea Um but oh, look at these baby cakes. And these cakes are actually functional. That's what I love about it. So let's go ahead and make one of these cakes. Oh, pineapple upside down cake. If you guys know me, well, I've never said this on my channel before. But I actually really love pineapple upside down cake. So that's one of my favorite cakes. Um, and there's actually a wedding cake too that's functional. So I'm going to have her make the wedding cake too. Just so you guys can see how it looks in game. Finally, we have a real functional big wedding cake. We don't have to use that little like two-tier cake anymore. It's like, we want a big mm. wedding cake. All right, can you, I know you just sat down to eat your chicken and waffles, but can you please go make that wedding cake so I can show my subscribers, please? Thank you. Um, so, moving Ooh, on. So that is the Granny's that. Old Cookbook um, recipes and now we're gonna go ahead to the ice mun mun i hope i'm pronouncing that right because i always yeah. like it wrong. but oh wait let me keep it on play but all right so for this one you're gonna press custom food and it's right on the fridge so right where you would go to cook anything else you're gonna go to custom food you can bake custom food grab and snack for toddlers custom snacks custom grand meals gourmet food there's so many options with the ice mun mun there's definitely like more options you can probably think of so i pressed the wrong thing i pressed cook we're not going back to those bland recipes all right so custom food um let's just start with cook custom meal she's obviously on level 10 so keep that in mind guys because sometimes you may start and be like oh there's only two recipes here and i downloaded like 100 recipes remember that the skills do um take consideration into how many meals show up because it does also go according to skills so she has all the skills so it goes all the way up to level 10. So some of the recipes here, apple salad, kiwi strawberries, served banana pancakes, deviled eggs, mashed potatoes and gravy, candied yams, cranberry cake, butternut squash, um, fried chicken tenders, chocolate hat, pineapple fried rice, jerk chicken, mango mousse. So, so many things that you can make. And once again, they look exactly like the pictures. And then they also do correspond to when you split it up and put it into different plates. It does look different. Um, all right, so let's also look at custom food and then snacks for toddlers. So there's choco flakes, curd, veggie bites, banana splits, strawberry pancanada, mango mousse, um, and then also let's see here custom snacks oh these are also good for toddlers too so all these purees that's where you're gonna find the toddler foods that you can make for your toddler and it's free so you don't need any skills and you don't need any money to do those which is great and let's see what else here um, and there's also custom grand meals this is one of my favorites because then you can actually add more big meals for your holidays pineapple fried rice grand chicken and mushroom risotto grand mashed potatoes and gravy sweet potatoes and marshmallow roasted butternut squash i think that's super cute i love how they incorporated that and then let's see here custom gourmet food um so banana pudding banana foster linguine shrimp scampi black cake what well, i was surprised they have black cake because black cake is a big part of my culture from West Indian, so um, any island people know we love our black cake. Crab legs, chocolate lava cake, red velvet lava cake, strawberry pina canada, and mango mousse. Um, so yeah, some of them overlap into different like recipe categories. I can't wait till she's done this cake so I can show you guys. And also the birthday cakes too. Look at this cake. Look at, put the cake down. Come put the cake, put it down, put the cake. Where's she gonna put it? Oh my gosh. Crystal, move. Sit. Sit over there, please. I know you're talking to your sister. She's been such on a mean streak lately. I don't know what's going on. But you know, teenagers. So, yes, look at this cake, guys. You can actually have a real wedding cake now. And you have more options for wedding cakes now. Because maybe you don't want a big extravagant cake. You know, maybe you just want... Um, let me see. Who was it that had all the dang cakes? Was it Granny's cookbook? Granny's recipes desserts 
I think it was Granny who had all the cakes. Yes. Fred the cake, strawberry cake, pumpkin spice latte cake. We have the little baby shower cakes, lemon blueberry cake, like all these cakes that you can have. I had a bunny cake that, you know, if you have a different theme for your wedding, you can also do those cakes and same thing, you, you know, put a wedding topper in it. So, see, and it goes right on the top, just like that. Like, I'm screaming. I have not used one of these for my wedding yet. Um, I haven't, I just, I think I just haven't done a wedding in a while, but my next wedding that I do for The Sims, I'm definitely using this cake. It's just, it's too cute. But yeah, so that's about it, guys. You guys can go through all the recipes. I did not download all the recipes, but I'm going to show you guys the list. And boy, is it long. It's super long. Custom food, garlic bread, sweet potato marshmallows, gingerbread house. There's even a gingerbread house on here. Like, you'd think Sims would have thought about that when they add their seasons collection, the expansion pack. But no. Um, so that's a nice little holiday tradition that you guys can do with your sims around christmas time but yeah let's move on to the next part of this video which is how to install the um, mods and i'm about to show you guys that right now so here i am i'm actually on my website right now but um this is exactly how it's going to look in the description box down below so you don't technically have to go to this website to get the links just look in your description box below um, before you even download anything, let me actually show you guys. Make sure in your Sims, before you download anything, that you have your game options on for other script mods allowed. So script mods are basically the mods that allow you to click on this book and an option pop up. Because the book might show up, but if you don't have your script mods enabled, Granny's Recipes, Name Cookbook, Put In Inventory, Snacks, all these things are not going to come up. When you click on the fridge, Custom foods is not going to come up if you do not have the mods enabled in your options. So go to your three dots, go to game options, and then go to other, go to script mods allowed, and then go to enable custom content and mods. These two should be checked. If those two are not checked, your mods are not going to work. So that's the first thing. Once you have those all set, you can exit your Sims game, and then um, if it requires you to, some you can, yeah, it does. I think you do have to restart it after you check those off. All right, so the Ice Mun Mun Food mod is going to be at this link. And I'm going to separate the links. It's going to be the mod and the foods. The mod and the foods. There you go. Sometimes it's two different places that you get them. Right, so this one is the custom food um, interactions. You're going to go to files. And it says, download, click the download link, save as like a zip file, extract using 7-zip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pretty much like sample mods folder, just so you guys can see what to do. New folder. And I'm going to pretend this is my mods folder, okay? Because right now I don't want to like actually go into my mods folder because there's a lot of stuff in it. Um, and I want to keep it as simple as possible for you guys. So... I'm here. It says to download, click the link, and save. Okay, so this is, you always want to pick the most recent version. So obviously, this is the only one in 2021. So you know straight off the bat, that is the one that you want to download. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to save it directly into my mods folder. But you obviously want to do your real mods folder. And then that's where it is. It's downloading. Great, wonderful. Show in folder. And I'm going to extract all or extract here, whatever you want to do. Or you can just click on it to hold it, drag it to your mods folder, however you want to do it. Either way, it's here. Once you have the extracted file, so it should say a package file and a TS4 script file. Once those are in your mods folder, you don't need the zip folder anymore. So I'm just going to delete that. All right. And now I'm going to put a new folder here. And I'm going to put ice mun mun foods. I'm just going to name it that. And then I have a ton of things running right now. So just bear with me with this loading thing that's going on. Um, and then I'm going to put those in here. And then I'm going to open that folder. 
because now I'm going to go back and get some foods that I want to put in the Ice Mun Mun folder. So now I have the mod. Great, that's checked off. Now we're going to go to foods. All right, so you don't need to pay for anything. Um, if you want just like the all-in-one folder, then yeah, you have to pay for that. That's on Patreon. But here, if you just scroll down, you'll see all the foods right here. And like I said, there's over 100. There's 120 foods. You don't have to download all of them. You can just choose which ones you want. Um, so let's just start at the top. Apple salad. Let's say I want to download apple salad. So I go here. I get the file. And then there's only one file here. So go ahead and download that. And then I'm going to download it right into my Ice Mun Mun Foods. Because remember, there's two mods. There's a Granny's Old Cookbook and there's Ice Mun Mun. So I want to organize them into their own folder. So I'm going to save it. And as you can see, that's also a zipped folder. So I have to show in folder and then I also have to extract the file. So I'm just going to extract here. And now I have a, see how it says fruit salad, but that's a zip folder. But now it says fruit salad. It's a package file. That's what I want. So once I have the package file, I don't need the zip folder anymore. And there we go. Now I have fruit salad in my game and I have it in my mods folder in the ice mun mun foods thing in the foods folder so that's good now it should work perfectly fine in my game and just so i can show you guys what my real mods folder look like just in case you want to see it all right let's see ice mun mun foods here's my real folder i have lady cassidy documents electronic arts the sims 4 mods and then here we go, Ice Mun Mun Foods is right here. So the package and TS4 script are all in here. So obviously, like I told you guys to delete the zip folders if mine are still here. <laughs> Sometimes I get lazy and don't delete them, but either way, it's, it's fine. It'll still work in your game. All right, so I deleted those. Um, so now all I have is the package file here. It just keeps it more organized. And these are all the foods that I have. So you can see I don't have all 120 foods. These are the ones that I wanted. You can choose the ones you want. And then as long as it's in your mods folder, it should work. All right, so next let's go to Granny's Old Cookbook. Um, so let's go back to the description box, right? Granny's Old Cookbook mod. The mod is right here. So what you're going to do is, um, it's gonna tell you up here which one is the most latest version. 11.4 is now the latest version. Please delete the old version. I love them because they always update their mods if it starts to interact with you know the new updates and stuff. So you see right here, Granny's Old Recipe Book 11.4. Do not download anything else on this list. You only need one thing from this list and you need the most recent version. So I'm gonna click that and it's already a package file so I don't have to unzip anything. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name this Granny's Oh, Granny's Old Cookbook Foods. Um, click that, save it. It's already a package file. Package files and TS4 scripts work in The Sims. That's like the rule of thumb. If it's a zip file, it's not going to work. If it's still condensed, it's not going to work. Make sure it's a zip file. So show in folder. So I don't have to do anything else with this. I don't have to unzip it. I don't have to do anything because I'm checking. And it says package. It's a package file. It's perfect. All right. So then I'm going to go back. And I, now I want some foods. So now I'm going to go to Granny's Old Cookbook Foods. And then it has split up into different sections. So it has the meals, dessert section, snack section. If you want to make a folder for each, that's completely up to you. That will work just fine too but just make sure you keep it all in the Granny's Old Cookbook. So I'm gonna click the first thing, chicken and dumplings, um, just to show you an example. Hers are a little more spread out, um, So and it has multiple things here. So it has collard greens and cornbread, wonton soup, meatloaf, sushi tray, pot roast, chicken and dumplings. So sometimes she groups them together and you can just, you know, download it just like that and I love how they're already package files I don't have to do any unzipping with the granny's old cookbook food so I can literally just download 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 all of these right into that folder and now they're gonna work perfectly in my game
So good luck guys. I hope this makes your Sims game so much better. It should because it's so much fun. Don't forget I'm doing a giveaway every single month of Sims 4 packs. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.